Hey guys, so was that cool? I just like jumped up. Okay, so today's video is going to be on my eyebrow routine and um, I recently bought the Anastasia pomade brow thingy majingy um, and I really really like it and um, it like made a huge difference from my old routine because now I just use this one product. Before I used um, the wax and then I went in with a black eyeshadow and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to link that one below if you guys want to see that one either way. Um, but yeah, um, now I do it with the Anastasia one, it's just one product and then I'm done. And I really, really like it because, you know, if your eyebrows are on point, then you're on point, your whole life is on point. Just kidding. Okay, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, so don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos like this. Comment down below any video requests that you may have, and yeah, let's go on to the tutorial. Okay guys, so to begin with this eyebrow journey, I'm going to begin with getting a little spoolie that I get from Sephora because I'm not, I don't want to pay for like the actual thing that they sell and you could just get one of these for free. And um, I like to just groom them down to the way that I want to shape them. And um, after that, I'm going to grab my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and um, I'm going to use a little angled brush that I got from Unique when I purchased uh, the eyeshadow things. Um, and it's pretty, pretty thin. And um, the trick is just to get something that's angled. And I grab some of the product and then just grab the extra and just wipe it off the side of my hands. And um, I like to begin towards the center of my brows and bring it up to the arc and just start shading in the outer parts of my eye where it needs to be filled up the most because I like the little faded effect where it's lighter and darker towards the end because I just think that that's more natural rather than having like one whole shade across your eyebrow if you get me <laughs> so after that I like to focus on the arc and the flick first of all and then um, I build well I make myself I build my way up <laughs> towards the front of my brow after I start filling in the arc and I think this is the most important part so I take my time in it and just make sure it's to where I like it and I do um, use my finger throughout the process when I do my eyebrows just to clean it up um, and then I'm going to go to the bottom part of my front. <laughs> and then I'm going to begin filling that in very, very lightly with a light hand. Because I don't want um, to overdo it. Because with this product, you can go overboard. And once you go really, really dark, you really can't go back. Because it's a very um, hard product to pretty much work around with that's why you have to have a light hand when you start everything and then build your way up with the color and for the front part since I do like it to be more um, light I go in with a spoolie and brush out the hair more with more um, with a much heavy hand so it can um, make the product go more light and distribute it around and um, yeah so after that, I'm going to go ahead and pick a song that I want so I can clean up my eyebrows. And everything's just much more better when you have your jams playing. Because <laughs> you just take your time and, I don't know, it's much more fun. <laughs> and after that, I'm going to go ahead with a concealer. You guys can use it like your foundation or anything that you want. Just don't pick a color too light because then it's just like, it makes the eyebrow more sculpt it out and it doesn't make it look more natural if that makes sense and um i like to clean it up in a much more natural way that's why i just use my foundation rather than a concealer and i go in with um just clean up the bottom parts first and make sure everything's okay then i grab a little bit more product and then i go up towards the arc just the top part of my brows make sure that that's all nice and by the arc i like to, it to be curved so i won't have that little box effect and i just flick it down and work on the the tail of my eyebrow 
and that is pretty much it after that i just clean it up make sure everything's fine and that is the end result so hopefully you guys enjoy this don't forget to subscribe bye guys